Hello there, my name's Tim Walter and I'm a geomancer and a life coach. Now the geomancer is about helping people feel at home in their houses by clearing them of lingering detrimental feelings using subtle energy management techniques. And what I want to do today is to tell you how that you can also help your house feel more like a home so that you can enjoy it and relax in it by using some of the techniques that I use when I'm clearing a house for a client. We bought our house some two years ago and when we moved in it was in a pretty rough state having been empty for some six months or so. And we knew though that really all it needed was some decoration and some building work to pull it together, change the room layouts a little bit um, and it would be the home for us uh, for a good couple of years or so and that's exactly what it has been. Now sometimes houses can feel downright uncomfortable and even have active detrimental aspects to them which can be quite alarming. At worst these are what people call ghosts. So ghosts interrupt our lives, they are relatively few and far between, don't very often come across those. But more often than not the feelings of being ill at ease in your own house are actually caused by the emotional state of people that have lived there before you. If you've ever walked into a house after the owners have had a massive great row, for example, even though they may be out of the room, you can still feel that lingering energy of that row in the space. These days, more and more people are becoming more aware of the benefits of living mindfully, and that is by using meditation to counteract the speed of modern stressful life. And I use mindful meditation to tune into the space of a house and liaise with the energies that I call the management upstairs to adjust and rebalance the house. It clears it of negative energy basically, so it's like a spiritual clearing. And this is all about belief and the power of intent. This is what I want to share with you today. When you decorate your house, if you feel that your house isn't really like a home that you want it to be and you're setting about doing a bit of DIY on it, you want to set your intention to do that decorating with the most positive and loving attitude you can muster. If you really feel passionate about the way that you want the room to feel, and you feel passionate about how grateful you are to the house itself for being there for you, just feel yourself falling in love with the structure of the house and feeling a real connection to it as you paint it or put up the wallpaper. If you can do that, then you're really, really going to be able to put that energy into the space. And that loving, positive energy is going to be far more powerful than any negative energy that's already there. If you can get to a fraction of a connection at the heart level to a place where you live, you can start to really readjust the feelings of the house and start to make it feel more like your home. It's all about the power of your intention and of your attitude. And it's remarkable, and we're only just beginning to understand that the world in which we live is so intricately balanced that everything is connected to everything else on so many levels. And that includes our direct environment and us. Now the pictures you've been looking at are actually of our house, the house that we live in now, and this is what it looks like today. So it's quite a transformation, we've done quite a lot of work in the last couple of years, and when we moved in it was a pretty sorry state, and now we've just put it on the market. Uh, it actually sold within three weeks, and one of the things that the lady said that came along to buy it, she said, this house actually feels more like a home than most of the houses I've been in. If you want to stay tuned to this playlist then subscribe to my channel because I've started um, negotiations on a house now that requires even more work than this one did and I'm going to be making a few videos along the way um, about showing you how I work with the subtle energies of space to help improve the way a house feels so that it feels more like a home and feels like a space in which you can work and relax and have as your sanctuary. To me that's really important. I really value my home space. So please, if you would, subscribe to the channel and uh, click on the link to a video. This link here, which is now being shown on screen, that links you through to a video which will tell you all about subtle energy and you can download a free report from that link uh, about subtle energy management so you too can start to explore it for yourselves and see how it works for you. Okay, so till next time. Cheerio.